And I like granola, but I hate granola when you're chewing it. God damn. <laughs> Man. Ooh, I hate that sound. Yeah. And then you chew so hard. <laughs> it's like a lion chewing on bone. That's how you chew. Oh, man. You know what it is. It's the Joe and Fifi TV show. Yeah, man. You have now tuned in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, man. Yo. All right, so on the last video, we was we was talking about, you know, simple stuff. We didn't already talked about it. Maybe it should have been a little bit more organized, but we talked about all your paperwork that you needed. We're probably going to make some separate videos to go more in-depth, but just giving you brush moments of what we're going through this week uh, as far as, um, you know, orientation and classes and stuff so what do you do keep going like this right from my face <laughs> yeah man look at that high five anyway so like i was saying um what was i saying this is totally distracting me going to the dps Oh yeah, 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 so you're going to the DPS and you're taking away your time in the truck, and you need that time because on that fourth day, it sounded like a, a Bible, it sounded like I was about to preach on the fourth day. No, no, mm. all right, you sure not? You sure? Mm. All right, for sure. All right, but anyway, on the fourth day, you're gonna be um, you're gonna be on on the track, and I ain't talking about pimps and 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 and, and girls. What? <laughs> the track. Don't listen to that. You know about the track? I don't. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> we dropped the light. Well, I dropped the light. Yeah, I didn't do nothing. All right, she don't know nothing about the track, but that was Ooh, funny. That was a lot. That's tight. All right, so look, picture this. All right, so on the fourth day, all jokes aside, you're going to, um, you, Stevens Transportation, they have um, a course that you, you Bob tells your stuff through, and they te they're teaching you how to double clutch. They're teaching you how to shift in your low-range low gears, um, and we're talking about beginners here. We're talking about people who ain't never gotten in trouble before. We, we're talking about people who don't never shifted stick shift, all of that. So you get on you get on the course, they team you up with somebody, you get in there, and they get in the truck with you for for once one or two times. That's it. One or two times. Go around the track. And then after that they tell you get go out there by yourself. By yourself. With someone else in the truck with you. Not by another yourself. Another student. Yeah, another student. person. But the instructors, once they show you the course, they get out the truck and leave you on the course by yourself, going around and around. But they on the course, they're just watching you. The first day, Thursday was like, they said like a play day. So you get to play in the truck. Not really play, but get a feel, get to feel of shifting. Right. So basically, they want you to get the feel of what the, what double clutching really is. Double clutching is simply uh, because you can't just single clutch shift the truck. Now she need a cough drop. Okay, so you can't just singly single just touch the clutch. Um, so from one gear to another, you're gonna tap that clutch twice. Okay, if you get what I'm saying. Give me an example of Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam family. Adam family. Oh, you gotta oh. have the rhythm. You gotta have the rhythm. Okay, there's a rhythm to driving a truck. So when you're driving a truck, you're gonna, but -na, -na, na Yeah, man, that was tight. So that's basically you want to have this tempo when you when you're clutching. You you know, clutch in, neutral, and then clutch 
Rev, that's downshift. And clutch, okay, gear out. Wait, clutch, gear out, neutral, clutch, back in the gear. What do you do? Recolai. Recolai. Mm, soothe the throat. You see how she just be distracting me? So, you're learning your downshift, you're learning your upshifts and your downshifts, you're double clutching, and while all this is happening, while all this is happening, you're having to figure all this stuff out well as they teach it to you mm -hmm. and whatever the case may be so thursday was basically like they said like fifi said uh a play day you know you get out there and you're just learning the truck learning the feel of the truck a lot of people stalling out i only did it once <clears throat> a lot of people was covering the brake like the and the thing about driving the truck is, okay, there's no need to cover the brake unless you're literally coming to a stop. My foot wasn't even on the brake because it, oh, it seemed like my foot was on the <coughs> on the brake. You had a hissy fit. Anyway, when you cover the brake, it means you're hovering over the brake pedal. You come off the brake pedal and you put your foot down on the floor. You don't need to hover over the pedal. You just don't need to do it. Just in case you, you need to look, stop. don't hover over the brake pedal. You don't need to do it. So you're not only going around the track, learning how to shift, but then you you also have to learn how to um, uh, parallel park an 18 wheeler. <laughs> yeah, man, talking about some. Experience. Now me, I got that experience. Yeah, man. Show me how to do it once. I done already done it. I already done it. You feel me? I got it done. Me? Just like that. So, yes. Parallel parking. Moving that rig from one place to another place. Parallel. All right, so picture this. All right, now, went through that Thursday, uh, Thursday, Friday came. Now you're getting tested, okay? Miffy, she did real well. Come tell me about your experience now. Now you can come and take the limelight. <laughs> yeah, man. Huh? So what are you doing? I was looking at my chubby face. Oh. Yesterday, Friday, in the morning, because those who already have their CDL, they went on Thursday to Parallel Park, the 18-wheeler, whatever. So the rest of us got to drove around on the track. Drive around on the track. <laughs> whatever. And so Friday, you know, we had to switch. I was just stretching my face. I washed my face with that soap and my face is dry. Lotion. Um, so, I had to parallel park. Now, our instructor, he is, he's an amazing instructor. He all right. He cool. I hate. Anyway, to me personally, you know, he went over it step by step and there was two of them. Well, it was three of them. Well, it was two of them that really helped me or whatever. And they went over and over with me. You know, I got it when they were telling me step by step what to do or whatever. But then, they put me in the truck by myself. And I messed up. I messed up. So, you know, I didn't get to, I didn't parallel park like I was supposed to. So, you know, my time was up so someone else can go. I get out of the truck. Tell me why. I walk over to everybody else. You know, I just get all emotional. Like, I couldn't do it. I felt like I should, but I couldn't. I started crying. I was trying to hide it, you know, behind my glasses. But here's the thing. Okay? Just like anything, you're going to mess up. You're going to mess up. They expect for you to mess up so that they know what to correct. Not this person here. She feel like she just need to be perfect. 
This is not an easy job. It's not an easy thing to do to control, you know, an 18-wheeler. It's not easy at all. And the fact that she did better than most of the guys out there, you know, should say something about her. On top of that, the instructor spent more time instructing the other guys than he did with her. The first time she went out there and parallel parked the truck, she did it great. It was perfect. The second time, you know, the instructor, you know, he said to himself, I feel like she didn't really need my help. So I left her by herself. No, and she, I messed up. And she messed up. Oh, well, you, you move on. Guess what? You're going to mess up. You are going to mess up. You want to know why you're going to mess up? You ain't never done it before. I'm getting so good on shifting, though. I got twos on shifting Friday, which was yesterday. I'm signing out because I'm tired and I'm ready to go to sleep. Peace out.